Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm not making ordinary brownies. I'm making a brownie pie. And you talk about taking brownies to the next level, this pie definitely does it. And believe me when I say it is absolutely delicious. Now I'm starting with a half of a cup, which is one stick of melted butter. If you don't want to use butter, you can use half of a cup of vegetable oil. And next, I'm using this brownie mix. This is a smaller package than what you get in the boxed brownies. And it's the perfect size for this pie. Now I'm adding my brownie mix to my butter first because I'm also adding some dark chocolate chips. Now these are optional. You don't have to add anything additional to this mix, but we like a little bit more chocolate and we also like some pecans. And the reason I'm adding this first is I want to cover those chocolate chips and pecans in the brownie mix because if I don't, everything's gonna sink to the bottom. When you cover it with your mix, then it's just gonna float nicely in our pie. So there that goes. And now, instead of using water, I saved a little bit of coffee from this morning and I'm adding two tablespoons of coffee. Coffee just gives chocolate a little extra. Mm. It's so good. Chocolate and coffee were made to go together. And last but not least, I have one egg. Now, I'm just going to stir this together. Y'all, this is one of our favorite things. You may say, Kathy, why would you put brownies in a pie crust? Well, first of all, this is a really small package. Usually it's 99 cents, a dollar at the most. And this makes a very small pan of brownies. But when you serve it in the pie crust, it makes it a little richer, a little bit more decadent. And the pie crust adds a savory, salty element to the brownies that honestly is over the top. They're so, so good. And I just have a store-bought pie crust. This is the deep dish. You can use the traditional. I prefer the deep dish because the brownie is going to rise a little bit as they do. And when they do, I want to make sure that you see this crust. That's all going in. Now you don't have to add the chocolate chips, you don't have to add the nuts, but they are so, so good. And I'll give you another great idea. Miniature marshmallows, coconut, you can make like a Mississippi mud brownie pie. Oh, I've had that before too. It is quite delicious. Now, I'm just going to take this and put it on my little baking sheet. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And this is going to cook about 30 minutes. Start really watching it at 25. And it can go anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. One thing that we don't want to do is overcook these brownies. We want it to be nice and dense on the inside and adding that little extra oil or butter really helps to accomplish that just a little bit fudgy kind of taste in the middle of these brownies. So I see you back here in a few. <laughs> Look at this pie. This is absolute perfection and honey agrees with that. Honey, come here, come. Listen, can you say hello? Can you say hello? <laughs> she is very interested in a dog that just walked by. So, a little hard to keep her quiet at the moment. But anyway, here's our honey girl. We absolutely love her. 
Now let's see if she stays quiet for a minute. I'm gonna let this sit and cool for just a minute, and then I'm gonna cut it and show you how I'm gonna serve this pie up. I've let this cool about as long as I can stand it, or actually as long as my husband can stand it. He is in the living room watching TV, and the house smells like brownies and pie, and believe me, he is so ready to have a slice of this. Now, it's still really hot, but let me cut into this. Look at this. Now do you see why this is one of our favorite things? It's a little fudgy. This did take all of 35 minutes to cook. Now it's gonna vary because of the temperature of your oven, but this is perfection. It's not overcooked. No dry edges in these brownies. Now, you can serve this with whipped cream or nothing at all. It's delicious all by itself, but a little bit of bluebell, you know what I'm talking about. And to top it off, a little chocolate syrup and I've got some more pecans. Now, just to make sure that it's good enough for my husband to eat, I'm just gonna have to taste it. <laughs> and I will say, I can hardly wait. Oh my goodness, y'all. You have absolutely got to try this. I can assure you, if you have a brownie lover in your life, they are going to love you for this pie. It is that good. The crust is just a little crispy. The brownies are fudgy and just the tiniest bit gooey. And the ice cream, oh, well, you know. Mm. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Do me a favor, press that like button, be a blessing, share this video. And I'm not sure if I wanna share this. Good thing there's plenty more. I'll see you next time.